guys, Joe Moore, Aftermath of Jiu Jitsu and 99 Jiu Jitsu with uh, under Eduardo Telles. Uh, I want to show a, a lapel uh, sweep I've been using, uh, playing with it a little bit more frequently lately and uh, trying to see if I can make it work more lively. So, anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up from half part. Okay, and we're going to pull the lapel out. Okay, so let's put it down here in half part position here. I have the shield up, knee shield up, knee shield high. I don't want to be too low where they can stack past the pass. So here, I want to go knee shield, I want to start pulling the lapel up, okay? So I have to only yank this lapel, okay? So as soon as he comes in to me or I pull him in here, I want to pull, throw the lapel around and grab with my leg. So if you can see, now I have the lapel around my leg here, okay? So I'll just keep, with this hand right here, I'll keep pulling the lapel that way so I can get a deeper grab, okay? Then I'll just hang out. I'll wait, okay? Here, if they pressure into me, that's fine. If they want to go here, I'll use my leg to keep knocking them off balance, okay? I don't really want to take this way. It'll, it'll knock them off balance a little bit using the leg, but I'm going to wait. I'll drop my lower leg down and I want to bait him to pass. So as soon as he passes, here, boom. Now, here's where it gets tricky. Now, here's where I can go like, I'll start putting, grabbing the lapel, cinching it up tighter and tighter and tighter, okay? So now I have a big chunk of the lapel, as far as I can get it under his underarm, okay? This is gonna allow me to make it uncomfortable for him. Just make it, make him off balance, okay? So I'm gonna show real quick two or three different variations of this, okay? So once I have that lapel trap, and he's wrapping around my arm, my head like this, here, I'll grab his sleeve, and I'll, with the leg, I'll kick it, boom, here, at the same time, I'm gonna use my other, my right foot, not this foot, and I'll hip away and pull him in. So if you notice, what I did, as soon as I, wrap around my head again, as soon as I grabbed the sleeve, I used my leg back. I made space to butt my head, get my head out of there. Now what I do is I put my toes on the mat, foot, my right foot on the mat, and I'll hip, hip escape or hip out. At the same time, I'll pull the leg forcefully down to the ground. Pull, drag. Once I drag, I have it kind of in a modified crucifix position where I can decide what I want to do. If I just want to slide my leg in here and track for the crucifix and look for a submission, or if I want to go over the top, here, and attack the arm, okay? So that's one way. The other way is, I'll keep the lapel, I have it really tight, okay? Now this time he's not really giving me this, I can't reach it or I don't want to do that. Okay, he's coming in, maybe he's turning into me, stacking into me, trying to get his arm, trying to cross face. He's not really letting me have much. So I'll try to, first one I'll try to do is pump up like this really aggressively. You wanna really try to, even if you wanna use the right hand to help a little bit, it's fine. Here, I go up, boom. As soon as I do this, I wanna drag this right foot in, come up on top, and I'll trap the lapel with my leg. You notice here, I still have his lapel trap on my leg, okay? This allows me to control this arm, okay? He'll try to turn into me. He can't really turn into me because I'm making, I'm cinching my legs together, tightening the lapel, so he can't turn into me, okay? So this allows me to work, whatever I want. Even if I have this arm, it allows me to work. He wants to try to turn into me, but he won't because I have the lapel. I can do whatever I want to do, okay? That's one way. Head down, we come back up. This is the third one I like to use. Now this is for the guy that's just really complicated. He's coming in here, he's just making it really hard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hip out and come up on my toes and go inverted on my shoulder. Then I'm gonna kick really hard. Here, as soon as I do this, I start coming up. Again, I'll keep the lapel trapped, look. I'll keep the lapel trapped. Drag him in, this allows me to work. I'll keep the lapel tight, because he's gonna want to turn into me. But see, keep going, turn one side. Okay, come up, you can work, okay? So, again, it's all control with the lapel. One more time, the way I set that up is, so that's actually spangled the lapel. Here, I start pulling the lapel out, okay. my shield is high, I want to, Come up, pull him into me, look out, grab. This is my whole position right here. I'm gonna start inching in that. Drop the leg, and then come around, as soon as he does that, 
I'll get to that mirror. Here. Okay? Here is everything I'm going to do. Okay? Whatever I want to do. Okay? So, again, it's a lapel control. Um, if anything, it makes it really uncomfortable for your opponent to try to do anything. Once you have that control, you can take their back, you can sweep, crucifix, whatever you want to do. Once you have that lapel, do not let it go. This is where your grips are going to play a big factor. So make sure you uh, train really well with your grips. Okay? Hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.